Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to solve for the certainty equivalent and risk premium when dealing with a risk averter, the case of risk averse taste. A person has property worth $10,000. There's a 10% chance that a storm could destroy half the value of this property, leaving a person with only $5,000. We want to calculate the expected utility of this risk, assuming the person's utility function looks like this where W equals wealth. So the expected utility, there's going to be a 90% chance that there will not be a storm and you'll have your property intact, still worth $10,000. So we're going to evaluate the utility function at $10,000 and then multiply it by 0 0.9. On the other hand, there is a 10% chance that half your property will be destroyed, leaving you with only $5,000. Your utility at $5,000 will be calculated by plugging that $5,000 into this utility function and multiplying it by 0 0.1. So doing the math here, we get expected utility of 9.84. Now let's solve for the certainty equivalent. The certainty equivalent is a guaranteed level of wealth that provides the same amount of utility as the expected utility of the risk. A person is indifferent between receiving the certainty equivalent or facing the risk of a possible storm. So the expected utility of the risk we found was 9.84. Here's our utility function. So to get the certainty equivalent, we're going to plug 9.84 in for u. And now we're going to solve for w. So raising both sides to the power of 4. So the right-hand side will just be W here. And 9.84 raised to the fourth power gives us $9,375.20. So that is the certainty equivalent. For this person, a guaranteed $9,375.20 provides just as much utility as the expected utility of facing the risk. Plugging this 9,375.2 into the utility function, you will equal 9.84, which is the same thing as the expected utility of the risk. Let's solve for the risk premium. The risk premium can be thought of as the expected value of the risk minus the certainty equivalent. Let's calculate the expected value of the risk. So there's a 90% chance there, there will be no storm, leaving your $10,000 of property undamaged. There is a 10% chance that there will be a storm, leaving you with only $5,000 of wealth. So the expected value of the risk is $9,500. The risk premium then is this $9,500 minus the certainty equivalent, or $124.80. An actuarially fair insurance premium, in this example, assuming full coverage, if you have a storm, you'll get this $5,000 reimbursed, is going to be the probability of the loss times the size of the loss. So the probability of the loss is 0.1, there's a 10% chance, and the size of the loss, 10,000 minus 5,000 is a $5,000 loss. So an actuarially fair insurance premium would be $500. For someone that is risk averse, the risk averter is willing to pay the actuarially fair insurance premium plus the risk premium to avoid the uncertainty. So in this case, a risk averter would be willing to pay as much as $624.80 for full coverage insurance policy. One thing to notice here is that the certainty equivalent, this $10,000, okay, your wealth if there is no storm, minus this $624.80, gives you the value of the certainty equivalent. Okay, I will stop here.